my name is Kelsey Brooks. Uh, each box has a, a critter theme and a different critter each day. Uh, so the first box is monster themed. We get our um, story time program started with the right attitude or in that right atmosphere. And so getting kids up and active with an action run is the perfect way to start. Uh, the rhyme that goes, monsters floor, can you roar? And they go, roar! And then you repeat with different actions like, can you soar? And they fly around. Start off with the book called Quit Calling Me a Monster. Um, by Jory John and Bob. The book just talks about how this monster feels like he should not be called a monster because he's actually friendly. Uh, kids uh, create uh, name tags. Next up, we have the book Mostly Monsterly uh, by Tammy Sauer and Scott Magoon. Uh, and this book talks about a monster to self acceptance. Uh, and since this book has a picture of the different body parts of a monster. I thought it would be fun to then go into the monster version of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Horns, fangs, knees and claws, knees and claws. The next book up is The Monster's Monster by Patrick McDonald, and it is a book that teaches a great lesson on being grateful for what you have. In the story time, I wanted uh, the kids to be able to create their own monster. Uh, so I would have different arts uh, for them to create paper plate monsters and cut out uh, streamers and googly eyes pipe cleaners for them to create monsters and they can take those home that way they can always think of their monster and the story time. Our second story box is sea creature themed. So we're going to begin uh, the story time with a challenge. We're going to challenge the kids in the audience to make fish faces. So anybody who's able to make a fish face will get a uh, fish stick. Biggest thing in the ocean by Kevin Cherry. Uh, and this is a very ironic book. It's very funny. It has a dark end, but um, I think it's hilarious. And it's just a fish bragging about how big he is. Uh, he gets a lesson on humility. Organize sea creatures based on their size. Uh, preferably this would be done with stuffed animals so they could physically rearrange. Uh, but for now, pictures would do and they could rearrange it on a board. The uh, book is Poor Little Guy by Alana Allen. Transition into the next song, I like it, a little action run, get the kids up and moving. Uh, it goes, arm number one, go swish, 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 and it goes on like that. The last book for a time is My Octopus Arms by Keith Baker, uh, and this is a cute book, and it explains all the things that an octopus can do with his multiple arms. Uh, set up different stations where kids test to see if their arms can do these things. Uh, like a station might be, can you trace this letter? Um, can you juggle? How many balls can you hold in one hand? Can you clean a mess? Uh, and the parents will just mark uh, along with them what they can do. Um, so it should be fun. Our third story time box uh, is about wild animals. I want to set the tone that we're at a picnic, so I want to put uh, picnic blankets on the ground, picnic baskets just to kind of set them to begin with a little monkey see, monkey do. So um, I'm going to ask the little monkey to the audience, uh, can you jump around like me, wag your tail like me, just a way to set the mood for the rest of the story time. Uh, the first book is Porcupine's Picnic, Who Eats What by Betsy R. Rosenthal. Um, this book discusses the different type of eating habits of animals. Uh, from porcupines eating clovers to uh, baboons eating bananas. All right. Challenge the kids after that. We're going to have them try to match uh, the type of animal to the food they eat. It's called Dancing Feet. Uh, this book has rhythm and it has a bunch of different wild animals dancing. And this is by Lindsey Craig and Mark Brown. Uh, what I'd like to do is have the uh, students try to guess what the animal is based on their footprints. Um, I also want kids to try to mimic their dance, so when it says stompity stompity, uh, they might stomp around. It's called Little Fox and the Missing Moon. Uh, this is a really cute story about a fox uh, trying to find the moon. Afterwards, we're going to have the kids go on a adventure. They're trying to find different moons and stars that are hidden around the library and then they're going to decorate it and take it home.
story time box talks about bugs, uh, and I'd like to begin the story time by uh, talking about the letter B. Start by reading I Love Bugs by Emma Dodd, and it follows this little child through all of the different bugs that he or she loves. Uh, we're going to sing the song Can You Move With Me? Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you swiggle? Can you squirm? And the kids will fly, and then they do. It's called The Very Busy Spider. Uh, and it talks about how busy the spider is uh, spinning its web. It's After that book, of course, we can't have a bug story time without the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Uh, we're going to do a different version of it with the Great Big Spider Voice and the Teensy Weensy Spider. Uh, so, Great Big Spider Voice, the Itsy Bitsy Spider, and then you have the Itsy Weensy Spider. Uh, and that just shakes up the Itsy Bitsy. And the last book is Tiny Little Fly by Michael Rosen and Kevin Waldron. Uh, this book follows all of the trouble that a fly can get into because it just lands on all sorts of animals. Introduce a bug hunting app. Uh, it is called the Insect Identifier app and it is free. Basically you take a photo and um, you look through pictures to see what kind of bug you found. Spider webs. Um, and what you do is you get popsicle sticks and you make a little star out of it and then you weave your own web. Our last story time box is pet theme. To do a little stretch. Uh, so can you hop like a rabbit? Uh, and they hop. Eventually that will lead to them sitting crisscross applesauce. Our first book is this book, Just Ate My Dog, uh, by Richard Bryant. Uh, it's very fun and it's interactive. Afterwards, we're going to sing uh, the bingo song, B-I-N-G-O, uh, and with each letter that's replaced by a bark, it gets flipped over to the dog. So, woof, I-N-G-O, woof, I-N-G-O, and so on. It is Bark, George, by Jules Pfeiffer. Uh, this is a book where a dog uh, has a bunch of different animals inside. Uh, and I like the kids to try to guess what animal uh, they're going to pull out next uh, based on the sound. So if you're a doggy and you know it, say woof woof. If you're a cat and you know it, say meow. Uh, the next up is Pet Shop Lullaby. It's a cute story about pets that live in a pet store uh, that some sleep in the day, some sleep at night. Uh, I want our, uh, the kids to be able to take home a pet. Uh, so we're going to have them create a um, pet turtle, uh, and they'll do that with styrofoam bowl, uh, some construction paper, and some string. 